guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2 Episode 9 of Smile Down the Right Away, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Everybody basically told you no. Here comes Don't come in and don't like me. You're happy again. But you still have a right to be on Spencer Yuki. When? Hmm? Yeah, are you gonna get nine other models?
In a weird way, it does. So no Kokoro, because Kokoro got to do her own thing. Mm -hmm. Of course. True, yeah, you, you need to talk to him now. It's just Kokoro, right? Yeah, it's Kokoro. Don't worry, they already met. I don't want to say Chiyuki was a little cold to Kokoro, but in a way... See, she gotta be a bitch at a time like this. Like, oh my god.
Well, you can use your sisters as models. You need 10, right? I mean, he's now at a crossroads. Like, what can you do now? Who can you call for backup? Exactly. You'll get there in due time. You just don't need to be like rushing into it because if you do, you're gonna have nine perfect perfect outfits and one fucked up outfit, and you'll have no one to blame but yourself. Of course. I get the fact that Toll doesn't like to be compared to his grandmother, but because of the fact that it's still someone in your family, fifty out of fifty, you're still gonna get compared and judged for it. Whatever you do, good or bad. Aww. Why? No! I don't need to. We're gonna be fine. Of course, anyone would. And you still can be. She honestly sounds like my mom. Plus <laughs> one. I'm not 
Deutschland. And then it makes you wonder what Kokoro's theme is going to be. Do you have enough? You stand confident no matter what. Mm. Bullshit. But maybe you didn't notice them. Probably have other things on your mind, right? You were the guy with the one girl, right? Mm. <laughs> ah, ito. So precious. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm hmm. Plus, she always wants two pants or do you want jeans? It's complicated. Yeah, at first it was Wayne, but you know. Huh? Seriously?
the fact that he's doing this by himself with his sister's help, but still by himself while Tool has people doing it. Kokoro's doing it by herself as well. I mean, we gotta applaud them. You're not even going to see it till next week, which sucks. Exactly. I mean, I really want to know how each outfit looks and how, with their 10 models, how it's going to incorporate. Chiyuki being with Kokoro now, I mean, it's interesting. And I love the fact that, you know, you kind of figured it out that it was going to happen because of the fact that the episode isn't titled Rivals. And the fact that Chiyuki did something like that, I do applaud her for it because of the fact that she wants her to be a designer and not a model because as a model there is no way um Chiyuki can compete with her because the fact is that height is different Kokoro is the same possibly the same uh height as me where because uh, she could be like six foot I'm six foot as well but Chiyuki is like she is her baby and so you you can already see that no matter what Kokoro is always going to outshine Chiyuki in modeling if she ends up losing. But if Kokoro wins, that also means that Chiyuki still has a chance to be better than Kokoro or anyone else. I mean, she still inspired the one girl who is a journalist. So you never know who in the world you can inspire. Like anyone who's short, tall, um, skinny, fat, whatever. She's inspiring a different generation. Just how, like, even today in the world of modeling, um, it's not like what it used to be when I was a kid because when I was a kid it was no one but skinny women and now it is you know it is the everyday woman someone who is you can be tall and skinny or short and fat or tall and fat or short and skinny everybody is different yeah there's still more of um still of a dominance of tall skinny women that they want but like uh, one out of ten or one out of a hundred or whatever there is someone who is either plus size or something different if you look at um i don't know if they didn't if they probably would do another season of dot model or if you looked at freaking rihanna's fashion show there were people of all different sizes in there and it was just like it was beautiful because instead of seeing someone who's skinny and then you're looking at them and you're you're looking at yourself and then that's how some of the girls end up becoming anorexic or something a bulimia or whatever because they're looking at people on tv and the things that are that they're saying that oh what society has in store for us like oh you need to be this this that and the third and sometimes it could be for the good or the bad or the worse and you never truly know what in the world can happen but honestly i'm really excited for next week because this fashion show is literally going to be the most important episode next week i mean this episode was important as well but next week's episode episode 10 is going to be hella important with the fact is by next week we'll only have two weeks left i believe before the show is over i really don't know what in the world is going to happen i do love the fact that they literally continued it right where it left off or they kind of did like a mini little recap seeing she could come home and her being sad and Mito coming in and just making her happy again. How, like, the last episode ended up and just starting right there. That was really sweet because we got to see it again. And the connection and relationship that they have is just beautiful. And I love it so freaking much. And for these next few weeks that we have left, I can't wait to see what in the world will happen next. But I got hopes for Kokoro. I hope Kokoro can become a fashion designer. Finally, instead of becoming a fashion designer slash model because she wants to do fashion design. It is her dream, it is her passion, and I hope she does amazing. I hope her outfits are beautifully. Same thing with Ito. I hope they're beautiful, and I hope everything goes well, nothing happens. But we ain't gonna know until next Friday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 9 of Smile Down the Runway. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. 
Join the Marshall Squad, and of course, I will see you guys for sure on next Friday for episode 10. Bye, guys!